Hello everyone. I welcome you to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install MongoDB on a Windows operating system. So, let's begin. Now to install MongoDB, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar just simply type MongoDB download. Then enter. And then you'll be seeing uh, first one is add. So I'll skip this and I'll be just simply clicking on this www.mongodb.com slash try slash community. So basically we are going to click on MongoDB community download. And it will going to redirect you to this official site of Mongo. And here you can see under available downloads 5.0.5 is basically our latest version which is you know rightly selected over here if you want to install some older version then you can always do that but it is always recommended to you know install the latest one you can choose your operating system from here right now it is selected as windows you can choose any of the operating system from this list then i'm going to choose msi installer so msi basically means microsoft installer so I'm going to you know choose MSI and then just simply click on download and it will going to start downloading our MongoDB. Now since I have already downloaded it, I just simply cancel it and if I go simply go to my download directory, you can see our MongoDB has rightly downloaded over here and the file size is 277 MB. So just simply double click on it to start installing our MongoDB. And you can see our welcome to MongoDB 5.0.5 installation wizard has rightly opened. So let us just minimize our download directory. And here just simply click on next. This is our license agreement. You can just simply accept it and then just simply click on next. And here on the choose a setup type, it is asking you that you have two options basically. One is a complete one, another is custom one. So I'll be recommending you to install the complete features of MongoDB. So just simply click on Mongo, uh, complete features. And here under service configuration, you can see that our service name has rightly set along with data directory and log directory is also rightly set. So just simply click on next and it is ready to be installed so just simply click on next and then just simply click on install to start installing our mongodb now before installing it will ask you for administrative privileges so for that just simply click on yes and it will going to start installing our mongodb so this installing mongodb will take about a couple of minutes so what i'll be doing is i'll be coming back right after finishing of this process yeah so welcome back and you can see that our mongodb compass is now being installed so it has rightly finished uh, installing our mongodb along with mongodb compass so you can just simply click on next this is just uh, uh, tips and tricks so you can just simply keep on clicking next until it is you know uh, get started so this is our privacy settings so you can just keep this default or you can choose you know as per your own uh, privacy settings and then just simply click on start uh, using compass and you can see our compass has actually opened over here and this is our interface of our compass right so now uh, there is one more step that you need to perform so for that you need to so for that just you know simply go to your c drive and then you need to click on program files and then scroll down and you'll be getting mongodb over here so just simply go inside that folder then server then 5.0 then bin folder you'll be seeing you need to again go inside that bin folder right and then you need to just simply select on this address bar then right click on it and copy so you need to copy this you know mongodb server slash 5.0 slash bin folder over here then you need to just simply click on this search icon and here you need to just simply type environ and you'll be getting edit the system environment variables so just simply click on that and system properties window will be opening just simply click on environment variables and then under system variables you need to just simply click on path then edit and it will going to open edit environment variables window just simply click on new then right click on it and paste right 
So you need to paste this mongodb slash server slash 5.0 slash bin path over here. So we are setting our environment variables. This is very important guys, you need to do that. Right, uh, otherwise, you know, you'll be seeing this message that uh, Mongo is not recognized as an internal or an external command. So it is very important to set environment path. Right, so after setting this, this just simply minimize it. And now if we just simply click on this, you know, search icon and then just simply type CMD. And if you just simply open your command prompt, and here if you just simply type mongo space dash dash version then enter you can see that our mongodb shell version 5.0.5 has rightly shown over here so you can see our build info number as well so if you see this type of message then all you basically know is that, that our mongo has rightly installed on our machine but how you check whether your mongodb is also installed properly or not so for that you need to just simply type mongo d then space dash dash version right so to check mongo you need to just simply type mongo and for mongodb you need to just simply type mongo d then dash dash version is basically our flag then just simply, you know, simply click on enter and you can see our db version is also shown over here that is version 5.0.5 right and build info number is also given there so if you see this type of message then you just know that our mongodb is also properly installed along with our mongo right so in this way you can easily install latest version of mongodb on a windows operating system uh, i have already made a detailed video about mongo so you can you know watch that video to know about how to create database how to create collection and then how to insert data basically We just need to just you know simply type show then space collections then semicolon then enter and you can clearly see our collection name is players that is what we have defined right say you want to edit this name so for that you need to just simply click on this icon and you can easily edit this name let's say you want to edit this name to Gautam so just you know, simply type that much and then just simply click on update and you can clearly see this name has been you know, rightly updated over here. I have made a detailed video about Mongo so if you want to learn more about Mongo then I will be recommending you to watch that video. Link will be obviously in the description. Right. So that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video then please give it a like and also please do share with your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.